I was doing the NFL honors the night before the Super Bowl it was live on CBS. And uh, I was introducing this uh, dude from uh, Fortnite Star. And the, when I was reading it, the teleprompter glitched right quick. And I said, please welcome Tyler the Nick. And it glitched. <laughs> it was Ninja, but it glipped. So all I got was the N. Tyler the N Blevins. That was his name, but it's, it glitched when I was trying to read Ninja. I didn't know what the he said. I said, please welcome Tyler the Nick. Everybody in that audience fell out laughing because they said, I got to looking at that I said, man, we, we getting way too free out here now. Tyler the Ninja Blevins. You ever heard of him? Who's a gamer in here? You've heard of him? He was on the show. You know, he was on uh, Family Feud a year ago. And I asked him what he did. And he said, uh, play video games. I said, man, you need to get a job <laughs> playing these funky ass video games. The kid, I'm, I'm seeing him at the Super Bowl the next day. He's in the suite next to me. The kid makes, and I found out that night, he makes $1 million, $1.5 million a month playing video games. If he goes home right now and cuts on his game, but like at any one time, he can get 200,000 people to watch him. So when they watch him and they sit there that long, advertising and people, they donate money to him. Gamers give him money so he can say, thank you, fly by, or whatever your name is. So they want their name on his screen, so they donate him money. And if you top the amount of money that the other gamers sent in, he says your name too. But you got to top the amount of money. So people go, $500, $1,000. And he goes, wow, thank you so much while he's playing the game. Some <laughs> makes $1.5 million <laughs> playing video games. I'm looking at my kids. What the <laughs> y'all been doing? <laughs> he makes $1.5 million a month. All he does is play video games. He said, man, you remember when you met me, Mr. Harvey, at the, and you told me I need to quit playing? That's why I never stopped. <laughs> I said, no, he looked at me like I was crazy. I said, man, you need to quit playing video games, get your ass a job. He said, it is my job. <laughs> Shut your ass up. <laughs> $1.5 million a month playing video games. They have teams now. You can sponsor a team. I'm trying to get into business. I'm finding some gamers that I can sponsor. These people are making tons of money. They took the Lexor Hotel in Vegas and turned it into an e-gaming sports hotel. That's all is in there. That's how big this shit got. I'm snatching, slapping my boy. Get this shit out your hand. <laughs> my stupid When is enough enough? If you're already privileged, you got a privileged life, you make more than the average person. What you trying to get this little punk kid in college for? And this little stupid son of a ain't even qualified. Even if you get that little stupid into the school, he ain't gonna be able to stay. You can't pass the SAT, you ain't gonna be able to do these, court, these Ivy League schools. That crazy, man. People got all this wrapped up in education. Those stupid, and this dumb Little girl on TV talking about, I don't even like school. I'm here for the parties. Your mama finna go to jail. <laughs> you smoking weed and dancing. Your mama finna go to jail. Y'all finna go to jail. That's a lot of money. $25 million scammed? That's crazy. Where was this when I was trying to go to school? <laughs> Anybody could have took a test for me. Just the SAT, just did my homework. <laughs> Seriously, man, in high school, I, my graduating class was 695 people. I graduated 690. <laughs> I just wasn't a good student, man. Damn, my mama didn't have no money for that <laughs> Do you know, man, I went to college, I flunked out of school, you know, but I went to college, man, we were poor, I couldn't ask my father for so one time, my father sent me some money. 
I, he never sent me money, ever. I had to work my whole life. I haven't had a job since I was 11. I've never, you know, back in the day, you mailed it. So he had an index card, and I opened up the envelope, and between two index cards was a $5 bill. This is what my daddy sent me, a $5 bill. And one of the index cards read, this is going to have to stop. Five dollars, man. I couldn't ask my daddy for <laughs> work. Make your money, work, hustle. That's what it's for. These little rich ass people, they make me sick. I'm so glad they ass is busted, though, because I <laughs> rich people. <laughs> I know that sounds <laughs> up, but. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. We're such <laughs> They really are, man. But they some privilege. You know, since it's trying to put this little punk kid in college for, and it's gonna take the place of some kid that's really qualified. And then the was, they was hiding the money in scholarships, like soccer scholarships. This can't even kick the ball. He on the lacrosse team. I couldn't play lacrosse because I couldn't spell it, so I didn't even know what Seriously, brought us down here and took our phones. We can't call anyone. Who does that in the United States? I call someone if I had my phone. Down here, Steve's telling jokes about it like this is funny. It's not funny, you big lip. Bet you got your phone. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know. And y'all millennials, y'all young people, y'all about to shoot your <laughs> self. This dude just hanging on his <laughs> just. That, <laughs> that man, I ain't texting two hours. No. <laughs> See, old people, we just <laughs> we ain't got the phone too. <laughs> Can't nobody ask me for Young people about to commit suicide in this <laughs> Look and look at them. Those are not doing good. Them, that right there. <laughs> <laughs> you, Steve. <laughs> you big little son of a <laughs> my <laughs> you. These millennials without their phones, man, they're not doing well. Sis, they're losing it. Them three back there. Y'all just, he just sitting on his hands. These <laughs> shaking so bad, he, he done just sat on, he's actually checking his prostate. You have been so bored you give yourself a prostate exam. You say, I ain't doing else, let me check my prostate. What the are you doing? I just took my phone. I got do something. Hang in there, baby. They gonna get your phone, baby. They got your phone, too? Mm-hmm. She ain't even smiling. I said, baby, baby, they got your phone? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, they be on their phone all the time. My daughter, she 21. She walks across the street taxi. I tell my daughter, I said, what the f are you doing? We're in public. Pay attention. Dad, I'm with you. Cause what are you, they just text, they text. We go to dinner, we're all at the dinner table. These ignorant kids are texting each other at the table. Yes. Brother's right there, what the are you texting him for? I'm sitting there, if my daughter texts me, I'm on the phone, I see it doing, I figure on it. And she goes, dad. And my daughter, she's like, like I work all day. She texts me, Dad. And then I go, Yes. And then she texts me just for WYD. So now, I didn't know what that was. So I'm going, Woody. Woody. I said, I'm paid an education for this stupid. 
child of mine, and she can't even spell? What the f is Wuddy? Wuddy! I said, what are you trying to spell? She said, Dad, I, I said it. I said, what is this? It's W-Y-D. What are you doing? I'm working! <laughs> Don't ever call me in the middle of the day and ask me what I'm doing. I'm working. So, BJ is a lot like me. And so there was a cotton candy machine at the kid's birthday party. They're making cotton candy. But they hadn't served, they hadn't brought out the party foods. Nobody had eaten any party foods or nothing. BJ, it's his birthday, so he sees the cotton candy machine. He walks right up to it. Now, we've told the people, don't serve anything until we're ready. And the lady got intimidated because BJ is my grandson. So I asked her later why the, you don't have to do it. She said, well, I thought it was since it was your grandson. No, 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 <laughs> don't vote. <It's, laughs> the you mean because you thought because he was my grandson, you did what he said. BJ stands there and asks for a cotton candy. So she's whipping it up. And then he's looking around because he's just five. And he's the one that's being raised vegan. So he's not even supposed to have this <laughs> at all, right? So he gets one and then he asks for another one. Can I have a blue one too? She starts making that. He turns around and says, can you hurry up before my mama come? <laughs> can you hurry? She hurry up, mate. Because it's like crazy, man, because people think, man, when you, like if you're well off, it's different. I, don't, I didn't raise my kids that way. My kids, I don't give a <laughs> you, Somebody work at the house, they're Mr. and Mrs. I never allow my kids to call grown-ups by their first name. So, years ago, when Winton was five, six, he wanted to be with Kings of Comedy. He just wanted to be a comedian. I came home one day, I pull up in the garage, and a door is leaning against the wall in the garage. A, a door. So, the guy that works at my house, I says, hey, uh, sir, can I ask you a question? Why is there a door in the garage? So my son then told this dude to take the door off of his bathroom. So this <laughs> removes the door <laughs> and puts up a curtain. Cause Winton wanna come from backstage. That's he, he wanna come out the <laughs> curtain. Like he been watching his daddy do. This <laughs> had had this dude take the door off. I was so <laughs> up, I said, you listening to a five-year-old. He don't want a dough, he want a curtain. So he said, Daddy, watch this. He said, Mr. D. Harvey. Then he stepped out the curtain. 